subscribers and viewers i want to welcome you back to this wonderful channel so in this video i'm going to show you a trick on how you can remove a virus from your windows operating system whilst you don't have antivirus installed or whilst you basically use windows defender so kindly sit back relax and watch me thank you so let's get going um for some funny reasons we have folks who dangerously use their computers without um an antivirus or um an anti-malware configured onto the computer which is very dangerous and so some of these folks um i have a trick in um computer in a way that when you are infected with a virus there is a way you can stop the virus from running in your i mean in your computer system okay and then later you can get total right of it i'm going to show you this trick so kindly watch me so basically all you have to do is if you notice your computer is not behaving as it is supposed to be or it behaves so funnily all you have to do is to go to your services which is under tax manager else if you go to computer administrative tools you can also find it there okay so just come to this part of your computer which is under tax manager from here you will be able to you know um stop some processes from running which you think might be suspicious you don't trust it and stuff like this otherwise basically come to your services which is very deep it makes you understand basically what is running here and so i'm going to try to stop some services from running which to me might be um a virus or a malware running okay but actually i don't have any um, virus currently on my computer so let me just look through let's say okay so i'm stopping these services you know for for you to know whether this thing is a virus okay this services running is a virus basically double click on it all right click on it and go to details no um i mean go to properties of it it brings it up basically copy this or come to details you find the name of the file name of it okay or the original file name copy it and then you can search it you can search it online and know exactly what you are running okay so this tells you example i i just brought it here to search and then it tells me exactly what is running in my computer services so i'm sure this um yeah i'm sure this is not a dangerous service running currently and so let me look through okay so let me check this one out okay so this is it let me go to properties copy the file name go online and search for the file i mean there's a kind of service running okay okay so it says this file is a system process that can host from one or more windows services in windows nt family of operating systems okay so basically this is also a genuine service running so i can ignore it okay so this this is the example you need to or this is um the process or the method you need to um go through to confirm that what is running running is actually a virus or a malware before you stop it else you might end up stopping 
a window services which is not supposed to stop and then you might end up even crashing the operating system which might cost you a lot you understand and so basically this is how it is done so let example this is running because i know what this is i can stop it straight from here okay so this is how you can actually stop virus or malware from running in your system and this is where you can basically do that if you don't have an antivirus running i mean a genuine antivirus not those free ones okay so basically this is where you can actually monitor it from if your cpu is going you know more than you expect it to work you can actually suspect something bad going on if you check your memory same okay or on your network if it is i mean the bandwidth is going more than what you're using or you're supposed to use then you know something fishy is going on and so you can quickly come here i mean come to details or services but especially details and then you will be able to know the um, app which is currently running using your CPU the most and then using your memory the most okay example like this my CPU count is up and then you have the memory counting as well so this is where you can basically stop any virus or malware from running if you suspect any on your operating system likewise you can simply locate your computer management under your administrative tools open it up okay when it's opened quickly come to services and applications open it further down and then locate services this is where you will be able to see comprehensively all the programs running on your computer if it is running you will know if it's not running you will know as well and then you can access it to start manually okay or you can access it to start automatically right and so if you notice there are certain applications which are not running because they are not needed currently they are not in use currently so they are off and so if you look through and then you notice um a funny application by some funny name you you don't remember installing on your computer you can quickly come here open it up and then stop it from running okay and then further disable it like this or put it on manual um startup type okay so basically that's how you see it and if you further click on the particular application it, it will be able to give you a description of how the application works and um, the definition of the application and what it's supposed to do in the operating system okay or on your computer and so basically this is the way you can um, and so you see if you click here it gives you the standard form of it which we opened earlier and then this gives you the standard version of it which gives you some kind of details about the application which is running okay all right viewers and subscribers thank you for watching this video please don't forget to subscribe to my channel don't forget to like my video share my videos and comment on my videos as well thank you for watching